I'm starting a new project where I'm removing a three and a half inch speaker from the dash and replacing it with a speaker pod that holds both a tweeter and a three and a half inch component driver. Now this build is gonna require making a fiberglass mold, incorporating different acrylic trim rings to bring everything together, a lot of custom fabrication, so I want to make sure that I have a good plan. I'm Mark, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. Here on this channel we learn how to design, build, and install our dream car audio systems, and that's what we're focusing on here is the design stage. In a lot of these videos where I do the custom builds, I tend to kind of breeze through things, and a lot of you guys have been asking lately to show a little bit more detail, so I really want to make sure we cover my full thought process when we're going through the process of designing something like custom speaker pods. That way you guys can take away some tips and techniques. So I've got the tweeters and the mid-range speakers that we're going to be using for this pod build up front. We're going to take a look at those in a second, but really quick, I do want to thank our monthly channel sponsor, New Concepts. As you guys know, when we're adding an amplifier to a custom car audio system, we of course need to send power to that amplifier. But not only power, we also need to send signal and a remote turn on lead and have the speaker wires coming out of that amplifier. And that's why New Concepts has their amplifier wiring kits. This kit here is their four gauge kit. This is oxygen free wire here. Really nice flexible wire. They include a nice compact fuse holder here for the main connection between the battery and the amplifier on the positive side. Like I mentioned earlier, they've got that remote turn on lead, speaker wire, a high quality RCA signal cable, some split loom in order to protect all the wiring in the engine compartment and various other connectors. These are a really great value if you're looking for an amplifier wiring kit for your build. I definitely recommend that you guys check them out. You can do so at the link down in the video description. The speakers that we're using for this build are the C7 lineup from JL Audio. I did a full unboxing and product overview of these before on the channel. And the first thing we want to do here is we really want to open these up because we want to use these different pieces on the inside of the car in order to get a feel for the size of these speakers in the location that I'm planning on adding them. These speakers are high end and honestly, even if they were lower end, I like to try to keep the speakers in the packaging as long as possible. When I'm fabricating and building stuff, I rather use the rings just in case some sort of mistake were to happen. It's a lot easier to call up the manufacturer and get a ring sent out than a brand new speaker. We just wanna be careful. Of course, we'll be careful with these too, but nevertheless, the reason we're getting these out is because we're gonna take them over to the car and we're gonna start getting a feel for our layout. As a side note, yes, these are a high-end speaker, but even if they were more of an entry-level speaker, the tips and techniques that I have for you guys in this video are still going to apply. The reason I mention this is a lot of times on these videos when I use the higher-end gear, I'll get comments from you guys that say, well, what would you do if you were using entry-level gear? And guys, the process of mounting and fabricating and making these things, it's the same regardless of what speaker is in there. So that's just something to keep in mind. So if you're not familiar with the 2018 and up JL Wranglers, they have this dash location here that has a speaker grill. This is one piece right here that we can take off. But the idea of what I'm thinking is I wanna use this general location for both the mid range and the tweeter. So I'm starting to position in here and I do wanna have these somewhat on axis, so they're kind of facing the listening position, but I'm okay with them not being directly facing at the listening position because I do know from doing my dad's build in the Equinox that these do perform well off axis. In other words, not having the speaker facing directly at where you're listening from. So I know I can design these with the flexibility of making them look good, but also sounding great. So for the mid-range, I'm thinking something like in this location, obviously mirrored on each side. And right now the grill is kind of in the way and that's not gonna be there obviously. So let's get this popped off. It's so just like any vehicle, we'll carefully use our plastic pry tools here and pry away each of these clips in order to pop this off. One last one in the back here. I don't wanna angle it too much. There we go. Now we can see by getting that grill out of the way, if we take the speaker ring here, we can see that that allows us to sit a little bit down lower, kind of into where this factory speaker is. So my intent is to kind of have that ring right about here, which should give me some nice positioning. And let's see if I can kind of get that to rest there. Then the idea is of course to have the tweeter like this right next to it. 
both the tweeter and the mid-range speaker will be angled in slightly. The other thing I'm considering at this phase in the project is once I have the speaker pod fabricated, how am I gonna bolt it into place? I'm not saying that this is absolutely the way we're going to go, but it would be nice if I could use these factory mounting locations here. So I'm actually gonna pop out this OEM speaker. So we use our socket set here and undo each of these bolts. Carefully grab these screws, easy enough to pull this one out. Sometimes these wire harnesses need a little bit of help. You push in that tab with your pry tool, carefully wiggle it out. There we go. Put these in the organizer here just to make sure I don't lose them. The way these are threaded is it's one of these clip type threads where it's basically a metal clip that goes onto the plastic piece below and that metal clip is made out of sheet metal and it has the threads in it. So it should be good and strong enough for us to hold everything. Now, part of my process here, what I'm thinking is if I were to make that whole pod, it's going to be difficult to get to the screws inside the pod and have them shoot down in these locations. So I think what I might do instead is fabricate an adapter plate. So just imagine a nice strong piece of acrylic because we know this surface is flat here. Let's say we cut it to that profile. We bolt it in using these two locations and then that piece of acrylic has a new mounting location or maybe a couple locations more in the middle here. And those two locations are drilled in tap which allows us to maybe even have some larger bolts that come from the inside of our pod and connect to that plate that way everything is bolted together. Now, just out of my own curiosity here, let's say I wasn't doing any of this custom fabrication for making these pods up front anyway. I did wanna see how well these speakers fit up front because these are the recommended more direct replacement for the factory speaker here. These are the C2350Xs, which is a three and a half inch coaxial, meaning it not only has that mid range, but in this case, it has the tweeter built in. Let's get these opened. Actually, check this out, this is perfect. This is what I was trying to describe to you guys is inside the dash already to hold in that factory speaker. This is one of those similar metal clips that I could potentially be using to bolt down that acrylic adapter piece that will then bolt up to the pod. There we go. Just a little close up view right here for you guys if you're curious like I was. Stamped basket there. It's got the mounting tabs. Of course the wire terminals It's got that tweeter in the middle a little bit of comparison here between the C2 and the factory speaker Which one would you guys rather have check that out? And let's take a look here. Do the mounting tabs match the factory tabs? Yes, they do That looks good. Actually, let's try putting this in the car. All right, so the moment of truth here Let's see if these can just go right on in I do see that that wiring harness is kind of in the way, so you kind of have to push it down a little bit and get the tab around this tab here. I can feel that wiring harness, there we go. So those can essentially bolt right in and it looks like that tweeter is nice and low. But let's just double check our fitment of our grill here. Oh yeah, there's plenty of clearance under there. I don't want to pop it in because I don't want to have to take it back out. But yeah, more than enough room there. So if you were looking for a factory replacement that was a little bit easier, you could definitely pull it off with this speaker. I've got them mocked up here because I wanna go over in the driver position and just get a feel for how I like this general layout. And you guys can see this red stuff here. This is an extremely extreme high end speaker positioning dough. Uh, I think its tray name is actually referred to as Play-Doh. So you can use that and you can line everything up here. Let's go over to the driver's side. So here we are, driver's side. If we take a look from here, I'm liking the look of that. And don't forget on that speaker positioning dough, make sure you get the red. The red is the only one that will work for this. So now that I have this picture here and an idea in my head, I'm gonna have a quick design session, turn on some tunes, grab my pencil and pad of paper here and go to town thinking through how everything is gonna go together. Fire up the old shop tunes radio here. So here is what I've come up with here. And guys, don't judge me too much. I know, I know. I am definitely not the best at drawing. And drawing is a skill that I would like to get a lot better at. And how am I gonna possibly get better if I don't practice? So I figured this was some good practice here. As far as making the general layout for the speakers, what I did is I did just use these rings because 
drawing circles is really hard for me to do. So I kind of sketched those out. And this is just a rough draft, obviously, but kind of what I'm thinking is having a trim ring that comes around that incorporates this little detail right here. And the reason for that is that detail is in different spots within the vehicle. And I also kind of noticed this detail here. So instead of making these ends really round like this, where they're just circular, I might actually extend it where this is kind of like straight line, straight line, straight line. It almost kind of makes three edges here, three straight edges that are kind of rounded in between, just to kind of carry over some of that DNA out of the vehicle's interior to make everything match. I assure you, once I go to build these, these lines will be perfect and crisp and it's gonna look a lot better. Also, as part of this planning process though, I did wanna kind of consider how everything's gonna to come together. This here is a cross-section view of kind of what I'm thinking for the different rings. This horrible little shape here is where the speaker would be and obviously it would hole through this part here but this plate here is basically what the speaker is going to bolt into and then this is kind of a trim ring and then if you see these notches out of the corners the reason for that is that's where I want the material from the fiberglass that I'm going to be making the rest of this shell shape out of that's where I want that material to come around and actually adhere and then I might have another actually I didn't even draw it I might have another interior plate here and then as far as everything bolting in this is what I was referring to earlier creating sort of a plate that matches the OEM shape of the speaker being able to bolt that in with two bolts and then I have a couple of bolts that are now more easy to access through the mids hole here on the inside maybe some allen key type bolts that I can then bolt this full assembly into but nevertheless this really complex shape that I didn't draw that's going to be all the fiberglass around the outside of here we're going to have to get that complex shape by actually molding the dash so now that we have more of a defined plan I can start working through my build process in the next video I'm going to be showing you guys making that custom mounting plate we'll start figuring out molding our fiberglass shell and making the different trim rings for everything to come together. Next time you're planning out a car audio install and you need an amplifier wiring kit, definitely check out show sponsor New Concepts to learn more about their offerings. You can do so at the links down in the video description. A special thanks to them along with Bryson, Mike, Ali, Jerry, Marcos, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in that next video.